YouTube and welcome to a Who review. I am Davros and I'm a Whovian and today I'm reviewing Doctor Who, The Caves of Androzani. <laughs> So this is a 1984 serial uh, starring Peter Davison and Nicola Bryant. So in this one, the Doctor and Perry find themselves on the planet Androzani, and then when stumbling into the caves, Perry falls into some web-like substance and the Doctor scrapes it off her legs, unaware that it has a lethal poison and they start to feel sick from it. And also they come across this colony on there that don't want them here and also we discover that they're all led by this crazy villain named Serus Jack and other things go on in this serial and of course with the Doctor and Perry both on borrowed time they have to find the antidote which is in the deep caves of Androzani which is the bat's milk and the Doctor makes the noblest sacrifice by giving all the bat's milk to Perry and he saves her life and that triggers the Doctor's regeneration, and he becomes a Sixth Doctor. And, yeah, like I say, they get caught up in a crazy dilemma with Serus Jack and his men, some mercenaries, some Republicans. Okay, so let's get to my likes and dislikes. First of all, the likes. I thought Peter Davison was fantastic in this as the Doctor, giving us one final show. And even in his final moment as the Doctor, when doing the regeneration, those lines he gave, he did a great performance. Of course, when I was first saw this one, I was a little kid, so I didn't really pay much attention to Nicola Bryant's cleavage. And to be honest, I never really no paid any attention to that at all. In fact, I didn't notice anything about that until it got pointed out to me by a friend, and I'm out going, oh yeah, she does, but... Yeah, Peter Davison put up a great performance and I was more focused on that and those lines he delivered is his death and also actually being afraid because he doesn't know if he is going to regenerate because he even says it, I might regenerate, I don't know and then he says it feels different. The regeneration, I love that regeneration when he's like, sort of goes, when he sees like all the companions he's had over his run as the fifth doctor all circling around saying you mustn't die, you mustn't die and then getting that brief glimpse of the master saying, no, Doctor, you must die. And then all of a sudden that triggers him to keep going on. We then see him go through that tunnel, then come out as the sixth Doctor. That tunnel was like like something you go through when you die, and only for the, instead of a light at the end of it, it was the Doctor's newly regenerated body, which was the sixth Doctor. And I like the ending, how Colin Baker emerged as the Doctor, and he's like expecting someone else, and then he tells her it's changed, my dear. And not a moment too soon. Um, I like that final scene. I also liked, um, you know, he, also there was a bit in the episode, like at the beginning of part four, when he's crash landing the spaceship that he's on, because part three ends on a cliffhanger where he's crashing the spaceship, saying there's nothing that will stop him now from getting to Perry and saving her. There's a bit where he sort where you sort of see that tunnel coming, and he's like holding his regeneration off till he knows Perry is safe. I also like that that we finally get an explanation for the stick of celery. Turns out the fifth doctor was allergic to cart from gas and whenever he was around it the celery would turn purple and he'd eat the celery. I don't know why, it's apparently it's a, a herbal remedy on Gallifrey. But we get an explanation for why he wears it. Uh, so yeah, Peter Davison as the doctor, brilliant. Nicola Bryant as Perry, um... I thought she was more of a... I kind of liked her in The Fifth Doctor, but I kind of liked the connection she had with The Sixth Doctor. But still, she put up a great performance. I even met the woman a few years back, and she was absolutely lovely to me, and had a quick little chat with her. Brilliant lady. I had a photo with her, too. Um, I um, liked her performance in this as Perry, even though she felt more like a damsel in distress. I feel like she really come out more and really matured more when she got with the Sixth Doctor. You know, the Sixth Doctor, I think, brought out the more, you know, more strong companion in her. Uh, I also like the villain Seros Jack. He was a very unique villain with the mask he wore and the crazy 
craziness he had going on. Yeah, a very underappreciated villain, but yeah, I like the guy who played him. I can't remember the actor at the minute who played him. I should have took notes down. But still, Seros Jack. You know, good villain for that serial. There was also another villain in this serial who was like a senator or something who worked for this president in this space, like this colony or something on Androzani. <coughs> Uh, I don't know, but I didn't like that side story. In fact, it felt completely irrelevant to the plot, other than it, other than the president like saying that the substance that the Doctor and Perry were exposed to can also, if you know, extracted, can prolong life, which it does on the president. Because the president is like in his eighties, and he looks about fifty. Because of the substances that we use. And Seros Jack, he uses the substance as well to maintain a long life. And that's basically all they do it for, Androzani. But um, the Doctor and Perry were in an unextracted um, dosage and you know, it triggered a poison and, like I said, made the Doctor regenerate. Um, I thought the story was okay. In fact, the story... Ew, it's gone down to be one of the best story Doctor Who stories in, in the show's history, especially from the fifth Doctor and the final performance he gives in this. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I have to agree, it is. The effects as well. There are a lot of practical effects in this, especially when they're on the quarry. Well, when they film the outside of Anderson, it's clearly on a quarry. But Peter Davison does great in that, especially when everything starts to explode and the planet starts falling apart. You know, great practical effects. Uh, good cliffhangers too in each part. It's like one part where the Doctor and Perry are getting gunned down by a firing squad and then it turns out they're androids at the end, at the beginning of part two. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, like I say, it's a great story. Uh, but some there's some bits of the story which I didn't feel were irrelevant to it, but still, I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed it quite a lot. So, yeah, and... Peter Davison puts out a great final performance as his doctor. Uh, so my final thoughts and ratings now. Uh, well, I'm going to give the acting in this, the performances and everything, especially from Peter Davison, I'm giving that a 10. A 10 right there. The effects, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give the effects a, you know what, I'm giving the effects an 8. Because they were practical ones. Yeah, the regeneration... It looked a bit tacky, but hey, I think it's aged you know, exceptionally well. So, yeah, I'll give the effects an 8. Practical and computerized or animated or whatever it is they had back then. And the writing, that gets a, a 9. Yeah, I'll give the writing a 9 for this. So, those are my ratings for Doctor Who the Caves of Androzani. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think to this one down in the comments below. Have you seen the Caves of Androzani? Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and to hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out. I have been Davros the Whovian, and this has been my Who review on Doctor Who, The Caves of Androzani. So until next time, run for your life.